Good afternoon, uh, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, just a very, well, it might not be a quick vlog. It's certainly going to be a chatty one. And I'm going to follow my notes that I've taken here. The topic for discussion is keto, what it treats, what it helps, what it has potential to cure, but mostly what it helps, what it is, how it works. What is keto? It's defined as a low carb, high fat, moderate protein diet. Now, when we are talking high fat, we are not talking sitting there eating Big Macs. We're talking the healthy, whole foods version of a whole fat. So you'd be on your, you'd have your coconut oil, you'd cook in your coconut oil, you'd cook with your olive, your extra virgin olive oil, you would um, have your avocado with, with your breakfast, with your slice of bacon and your egg. You know, it's, it's not sitting there chomping down fucking bars and bars of fat chocolate and crisps and sweets and fried food. No, I don't, I don't have any fried food. Uh, occasionally I would fry an egg, but if I do fry an egg, I fry it uh, in extra virgin olive oil, a very small teaspoon of said. Now, so once we get that out of there, the doctors do have a fucking fit when you mention keto, but it actually works. The origins of keto is it's been on the go for many, many years. It was used many, many years ago to treat a condition known as epilepsy in children. Uh, there's a film made that starred, I believe the girl's name is Meryl Streep, in which she plays a mother who's a true story of a mother's whose son who just continuously deteriorates over time. He has epilepsy and the seizures are together, together, together. And she finds this particular doctor who advocates the use of a ketogenic diet to treat the seizures. So she starts the young fella in this man's care on this special diet. Lo and behold, it didn't cure him, but the seizures, his condition improved exponentially and his seizures ceased to be a big issue for him. He was able to live a normal life. So that's one thing to start with. Now, let's talk about weight loss with keto. Ketogenic diet followed properly causes your body to go into a state of ketosis. Now there are two fuel sources in the body. It can run on glucose, it can run on ketones, right? Either or, ketones is the cleaner source. It's a cleaner fuel source for your body. Body runs better on it. And that causes less problems for you. Uh, ke the ketogenic diet or low carb diet is a very valid treatment for type two diabetes because it keeps your insulin level low because you're eating less sugar, your glucose levels are low. Uh, people with insulin resistance benefit from a ketogenic diet for the same reason. Insulin and the over gobbling of sugar causes inflammation in the body, not just in the body, in the brain, every bloody where. It causes everywhere. And it's a, it's, it's a contributing factor in every single autoimmune disease that's out there. If we start from the top and work our way down, we'll go with what I, some of the stuff. So we'll start with obesity. Ketogenic diet is a very good weight loss tool. If followed correctly, there's enough. I will put links below to Dr. Eric Berg and to Dr. Ken Berry, uh, who are two doctors on YouTube. As far as I know, they don't get paid for, for what they do. They, they simply advocate the ketogenic diet to treat various medical conditions or to help with various medical conditions. It mightn't cure them, but it will, it will help. And that's what, that's what most of us with any medical problems want. We want help. And if we can help ourselves to feel better by eating a good diet, an ancestral appropriate diet, if you like, then we should. I'll link those two boys below in the description box somewhere when this video goes up, goes up in live. Right, so we're gonna start from the head and work down. As I've said, we started the head, which is the brain. It has been used for 60 years, I believe, to treat epilepsy successfully and a lot of doctors in the states I don't know about here but they advocate the ketogenic diet or low carb diet ketogenic to treat epilepsy also it can be used to treat uh, inflammation in the brain which causes other problems such as MS which according to my research is look at it this way you have an electrical wire now that wire has like a line in on the top of it a bit of, no, I'm not sure, a bit of rubber around it. Normally, if you look at your wire in your press, it has, it has a protective layer on it. In the brain, that's the myelin. With conditions, and with inflammation in the brain, 
you can get, and with MS, you get little holes in the myelin. And that results in the signals being jabbled, going from your brain down to the various bits and bobs in your body. This is as easy as I can explain this, as user-friendly as I can explain this. With the ketogenic diet, in, um, also with the inflammation that all the fucking sugar we eat causes in our body, um, we end up, we don't process, just trying to find a way of explaining this so it makes sense. Right, <clears throat> we have cholesterol. Every cell and every single, every bit of our body is made up of cholesterol. Everything, every cell, there's cholesterol and everything. It's the building blocks of the human, of all of our cells. Now, when you have inflammation, that system doesn't work right. And it results in, when you're eating a load of sugar and a load of shite, bad food, it, it just causes your body to become inflamed as a result. The cholesterol that you're building doesn't get, doesn't work properly, doesn't get distributed properly, the cells don't regenerate properly, all of the rest of it, and you end up getting a load of medical conditions and problems with inflammation. So as a result, with the ketogenic diet, all of that inflammation goes. Your cholesterol levels, your cholesterol that you naturally make, gets to do its job better. As I understand it, uh, you watch Berg and Berry. They'll educate you. Right, next thing we move down the body. Now you're talking about, um, we're looking at another illness. It, it's a pain processing illness called fibromyalgia. A lot of people suffer with that and in the old days doctors said it was, uh, they regarded it as a psychiatric disorder. If you're hearing a hoover going, I apologize for that. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, fibromyalgia, which is now, is known to be a pain processing disorder caused by an over-processing of pain in the brain. So if I touch my arm, I know that it's touch, doesn't hurt, but someone with fibromyalgia, really bad, in a bad way with it, would regard that as pain. They'd be in agony. You'd be hurting them, and God bless them. You'd be hurting them, and it's, there's nothing they can do. It's all to do with the brain. The, and all of this inflammation contributes to all of this, Therefore, my friends, the less inflamed you are, uh, the easier it is on your body for it to do what it needs to do to keep itself well. And in fibromyalgia, that's just a horrific disease. Horrific, as is MS, as is the autoimmune arthritis I suffer from. Now, now we'll move down the body. Other diseases that fire, that ketogenic diet will help with because it reduces inflammation. Many autoimmune diseases, fibromyalgia being regarded partially as one, when we get down to autoimmune arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, psoriasis, eczema, um, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, infla inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, uh, quite a large number of illnesses that a ketogenic diet will help because they are inflammatory of nature. You're, in nature, your body is inflamed. Therefore, you get the inflammation down. It will help with the condition that you have. I have autoimmune arthritis. I've had it for years. Now, <clears throat> I am in the middle of a flare at the moment, and it is, and it's been ongoing since uh, last year, since last August. I've had bereavement, two bereavements in a sh very short period of time, which has just resulted in the disease going absolutely cocoa bananas. I'm sticking to my keto diet because, although I feel better on it, then I I know when I'm not on it and I'm in a flare. I'm in an absolute horrific junk. I am on it, I'm in a flare, and I'm coping as best I can to get myself out of the flare with the medication that I'm taking, that the doctor has supplied, but I'm also helping myself by doing, by sticking to my macros as best I can. Now, I'm not, I wouldn't be perfect. I do have my off days, but I do try to stick to my macros as best I can to try and keep the inflammation in my body as low as possible so that the medication that the hospital have me on can actually work and work their magic on me and institute a cure. Well, not a cure, but a, a, I'm hoping to get a remission. <laughs> we 
will see what happens. I feel very um, sort of better eating the ketogenic way, I have to say. I'm less hungry than I would normally be. Um, like I'm sitting here drinking a coffee, decaf coffee. I'm not hungry for any food. The last thing I ate this morning was two sausages and two rashers. That was it. Didn't eat I'm not hungry. Now this evening I have spinach. I have spinach with um, chicken, which I will cook. Well, I have to heat it up in my microwave and I'll put a little tiny bit of sour cream on top of that. Two tablespoons of sour cream. That's my fat. So I have my carbs with the spinach. I have my protein with the chicken and I have my two tablespoons of cream on top for my fat. No, ketogenic does not mean loading your plate with a load of Kerrygold butter, although some people eat bulletproof drink their keto coffee. I do on occasion if I'm fasting. Instead of having a breakfast, I will have a, a very small keto coffee, 225 calories, two net carbs. That's my breakfast. Now, I'm very careful when I break a fast. I'm just saying this video is is primarily to tell you that though that in my opinion it's helped me and if the information I've just given helps anybody out there who has an autoimmune condition or a inflammatory condition of any description if it can help you if it can help the kids with epilepsy it's worked for me and weight loss aside it certainly has I expect it to be far worse than I was, or than I am. So my friends, that's all I have to say for the moment, but if you've got any questions, please leave them below. If you want to know what I eat, how I make it, about macros, any information about keto, post a comment down below and I will do a video on it for you. Anything I can do, because I know what it's like to have a, a horrible fucking invisible illness, they call them. Because people look at you, they think you're, oh yeah, she's grand, not bother on her, blah, blah, blah. But they do not know that you wake up every morning and you have to crawl out of the bed. And some mornings you wake up and you get out of bed, you go to the toilet and you puke. Or you crawl out of bed, take your painkillers and crawl back in. And, and some days you wake up and you wish the ground would just open up and swallow you. When you're having a bad day, you can't walk properly, you're on a stick. Or in my case, sometimes I'm on a crutch. And I could be on a crutch three or four days in a row. Because literally, the whole left side of me just being a jock. Arm, shoulder, knees, and the whole left side of me goes. And I've got a lump coming up on my left arm. I've got one on my right arm at the elbow, just a big lump. I think they call them nodules. And I have one coming up on my the forearm of the right hand. Them all over my toes and underneath parts of my feet. It's just shocking. People don't see these things. So because they don't see them, they think, oh, she's grand. She's got a bit of makeup on. Yes, yeah, so I don't look like a sick person because I put on my bit of makeup if I'm able to put it on, if I'm not able to. And some days I don't even get out of bed. The point I'm making is people don't see, they see this as an invisible illness unless they suffer from it. That's when you learn. And it's, it's, it's a shocking way to live. Listen, I'm going to go, lads, but please post any requests that you have for new videos or any topics down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, you're very welcome. Feel free to subscribe if this is content you'd be interested in. I do videos on beauty, hauls, reviews, all sorts. So feel free to subscribe and ding the bell if you want to. It's free, got no calories, won't put weight on you. And I'd appreciate the support. If you feel like doing that. But either way, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. You're very welcome, delighted to have you. Have a lovely day. God bless you all. Take care. And I will talk to you soon.